Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a review on a new vacuum cleaner. I have had this for a couple of weeks now and I definitely wanted to share it with you. Hang on one sec, I hope this camera's straight. It's like not looking real straight. Anyway, so this is the vacuum that we have purchased. So it is the Black & Decker Power Series Extreme. And this is the pet cordless stick vacuum, I believe it's called. So this is what the box looks like. It is the purple one. Now, why did I purchase this? We, like, have been a strictly Dyson family. Um, cordless vacuums definitely come in handy when you just want to go over a quick area just not having to worry about plugging something in um and yeah but i like to do most of our house with a cordless vacuum so we also do have two dogs which i find they do drop a lot of fur um we just have a staffy and a little bulldog but yeah the fur particularly on the stairs is just insane so definitely appreciate not having to plug in a vacuum so as i said we have been strictly dyson we have had we do still have because i don't know what to do with it a cordless stick vacuum the ball plug-in vacuum and also the handheld vacuum now they've all been okay but at the end of the day i'm over dyson because i don't think they work that well i personally think that they're quite overrated and very overpriced for what they are however i've only ever purchased like this stick vacuum was about 800 dollars so I haven't purchased like any of the super new amazing looking like $1,400 vacuums so I'm sure they're amazing but definitely not in our budget. So I came across this, this actually has my address on it I just realized. Um, so it has really mixed reviews. Some people love it, some people hate it, some people think it doesn't work, some people think it works which is like anything however i thought i just feel like it ticks the boxes for what we are after so i thought i would definitely give it a go runtime of 58 minutes it says on the box no that is absolutely not accurate in my opinion maybe on low maybe on like floorboards only maybe but I'm gonna say closer to like 20 minutes. I can get our full downstairs done, which is great, but then it takes like literally five hours to recharge it. So it is quite a lengthy process. Um, but yeah, the main reason that I was drawn to this one is definitely because of pets um, and the pet hair and with the um, vacuum head, it's like it doesn't, the hair doesn't get tangled around the vacuum head i have heartburn at the moment um which i really really liked because our dyson would get clogged with my hair with dog hair and it just doesn't work um one thing i do really like about it is the light that comes out of here i've never had that before i know some of the new dysons have that but it really like shows you where the dust is that is for sure on our floorboards it really shows you how dirty the floors are so it comes with this it is very full so this is all dust um but i wanted to get into that so this is the actual vacuum this is the head which has hair caught on it which interesting um and then you just clip the battery onto it so one thing that i prefer with dyson they have like the the wall charger this does not it has this separate battery and then this separate charger whereas i really liked with the dyson how it was just like a wall mounted unit so adding the battery on 
easy, but it just adds a little bit more weight. Um, this system of how you get the canister on and off, I can guarantee that that will be the first thing to break. It's a little bit fiddly, um, but it is what it is, I guess. Like, they've done it in a weird way, and to get the like carpet and stuff out you definitely need to get a knife in there i find and then like scrape it out and then it falls out so that was the same with my dyson so i'm really not like shocked at that at all you also get so this is the pet hair removing brush which can i say we have two dogs again <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying this our lounge downstairs so being a dark gray one of our dogs has a lot of white on him and he like rubs against our lounge and the hair gets stuck in since we've lived here seven years with him we have not been able to get the hair off that lounge until this tool has come along this is a game changer and this gets the hair off the fabric lounge and then we have this is like a corner tool which I do really like as well this works really well with our stairs getting into the corners because I have found with this this head does not get close to the corners so even though I said hair doesn't get stuck there is hair stuck in here which I did not realize so I'm not very impressed with that but as you can see, so there is a quite a big gap here and here. So it just doesn't get close enough to the corners. So for stairs, I find that this is not great. But again, you can always take this head off. And if you want, just put that on so you don't have to bend down. Yeah, but it is quite a heavy machine. So I do find that after a while... Like it does hurt your hand where I felt like the Dyson wasn't that, um, wasn't that heavy. So my thoughts on this so far, I do think that if you're after a vacuum that is not for a super large area, then definitely this ticks the boxes on picking up an amazing amount of things off carpet or hard floors but just keep in mind that you definitely need to probably use this tool for the edges because it just doesn't get there but I do really like it it is weighty um, but I do also want to show you it in action so let's do that now. okay I thought I would also show you so this is what I mean with getting the canister off so it's super fiddly and then you basically have to line it up and push it back in um, and then sometimes when it's super full dust comes out of here and here so it does go everywhere as well and I will show you putting it back on okay so putting it back on is quite fiddly I'll probably get it straight away but yeah you just got to make sure it's lined up and it will clip in like that okay, so welcome to my lounge room I actually vacuumed this yesterday so it's not super dusty but I just will show you how it does work on carpet and then I'll show you it removing the dog hair because I've only done half of the lounge um, but yeah you'll see like how loud it is and all of that so let me show you so I'll start on low and then I will move up. The great thing about this as well, you don't have to hold the button in. Once you press it, that's it. You can also turn it um, so the head doesn't spin or you can have it spinning. So, low. No. Low. Also show you here so it does have a battery indicator which will light up so here okay 
Okay, so just from that little amount, you can see here how much dust and dirt it's picked up. So quite a lot. And then to change the head, so you simply just, there's a little click here. Take that out. And then you click in what you want to use. So then it just becomes like a little handheld thing like that. Still quite heavy to be honest, but. So I do definitely hope that you could see um, in those clips that it is amazing we're getting the dog hair like off the lounge and it does pick up quite a lot um, particularly on carpet so after about a month of use I would say I am still quite impressed with it and really really do like it um, it's just a little bit heavy and I do not like the um, the emptying system so far and the charging system so far but this retails for I think $250 I actually got it off Amazon in Australia for 173 I think it came down to I'm so out of breath so super affordable in my opinion but yeah if you've tried this let me know or let me know your pick for an affordable type vacuum that isn't a Dyson. I would love to hear from you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, I will see you in my next video very soon. Thanks again. Bye.